Scientists working with the United Nations said today that the evidence is more convincing than ever that humans are the main cause of climate change. Surprisingly, their report indicates that the rise in air temperatures has slowed, but greenhouse gases are profoundly changing the oceans. Ben Tracy takes a look. This company near San Diego raises oysters. Last year, Dennis Peterson says they could only get a quarter of the young oysters or seed they need from hatcheries in the Pacific Northwest. It cost them about a million dollars in lost business. Why was it hard to get that seed? What happened? The oceans were getting more acidic as a byproduct of increased CO2 in the atmosphere. About 70% of carbon dioxide produced on the planet stays in the atmosphere or is used by plants. 30% is absorbed by the oceans where it produces a weak acid but it's strong enough to impact sea life and prevent oysters from creating their shells. Carbon emissions also trap heat. Today's report shows oceans have absorbed 90% of that heat, raising ocean temperatures by half a degree. Had all that heat gone into the atmosphere, air temperatures could have risen by more than 200 degrees. The ocean is really the heavyweight in the system. It is where most of the heat goes. Lynn Talley is a scientist with the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. She says oceans are keeping the planet from overheating, but sea levels are rising because the heat expands the water. A lot of it's in the upper ocean, but there's a certain amount in the deep ocean, uh, and that's well away from the atmosphere. So you're moving heat all the way down um, into the ocean. Dennis Peterson worries about what that means for his oysters. Well, when it comes to climate change, is the oyster in the ocean a canary in a coal mine? Yes, I would say uh, it is. This is only the first thing we noticed. He's already looking into expanding his other products, such as red seaweed, in case these oyster crates one day come up empty. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Carlsbad, California.